All right, hey, what's up guys? It's Roy here. And with today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Tech 21 Evo tent case for the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. Now this is a case that's only $39.95. If you wanna buy this case after watching this video, visit tech21.com. It's not on Amazon right now, but if you do happen to find it on Amazon, put the link in my comments, guys, cause I could not find it anywhere. But right now it is in stock on Tech21's website, so that's pretty awesome. So you can buy it and get it if you want it. Um, but yeah, as you can tell, obviously it's the tint version. Uh, so it's a darker clear case, uh, kind of more of like a smoky dark color. So let's go ahead and look at the box here real quick. So as far as the box goes, pretty simple. It's got this new Tech21 branding here at the top. It says Evo tint, multi-drop phone protection. And then as you can see here, there's a picture of the case. It does say that it is uh, impacted tested from 12 feet. So you're getting some really good drop protection. It does have that antimicrobial technology, which inhibits the growth of uh, bacterial growth on the case. So kind of cool. And then here it does say that is carbon tent finish. It is for the Z Flip 3 5G, as it says here. And then here on the sides, it just says uh, multi drop phone protection. On the side here, it says the same. And on the back, just kind of a breakdown a little bit of some things here. So it says impact protection from 12 feet, kind of just a breakdown of everything. And then it does say easy apply. So it's two separate pieces that snap together. So that is kind of cool. So super easy to get it out. You just slide it out. <laughs> so pretty simple. So you have one piece and two piece. And it does also say here, attention ensure adhesive tape is peeled back before application. So just like their Evo clear case, it does have these adhesive strips, as you can see here. So I did not take them off on the sides because since I removed cases so much, I really didn't care to take it off, but I did at least do the main one here. And that's just gonna help since it's a two piece case, it's gonna help keep it in place. And these do too, but to be honest with you guys, I've had this case on my phone off and on for about four or five days. And these weren't super necessary, but they're there if you need it, if you do wanna take them off. So looking at the interior of the top portion here, as you can see, you kinda of see these little ripples here in the corner, and that's just gonna help with that corner protection there. So when you do drop it and it hits the corner, it's supposed to help dissipate the energy away from the phone, so that way you don't get a break. Uh, so hopefully it does its job. Obviously with it having 12 feet of protection, it should. But as you can see there, it's pretty simple in the interior and it's the same for the bottom portion as well. So you still have those same bumpers there at the bottom. But other than that, guys, it's just the same material on the inside here. So let me wipe this down real quick and then let's get it installed. All right, so got it wiped down. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy installed. So it's really easy to do. So I'm just gonna start with the top here. And just like a normal phone case, you're just literally gonna just put it in the corners, pop it in and that's it for the back or for the top portion. And then you're gonna do the same for the bottom. So you're just gonna kind of put it in the corners and just pop that in. And then I always kind of just push right here to get that adhesive strip to really stick to the phone. And let me wipe it down one more time since I've been touching it. And there it is. So there is the Evo 10 installed on the Phantom Black Z Flip 3. So as you can see, it does have that just carbon dark tint to it. Uh, it's actually really hard to see through it. Um, so I can't even see the Samsung logo or anything like that. So even though it's a semi-translucent, it's really not once you have it on the phone. And maybe if you had a lighter color, like the cream or the white or lavender or something like that, it might show up a little bit better. But with the Phantom Black, it definitely is very difficult to see through. Looking here at the top, as you can see, you do have that um, bump that goes around the camera and the screen and the flash. So you have a nice raised lip there, which will help definitely uh, protect the lens and the screen and everything like that. And then as you can see here, you do have just this really reflective, just black tinted uh, back here. And as you can also tell, it is a fingerprint magnet. It is a smudge magnet. So once again, like I said in my Evo Clear uh, review, I use my shirt, I'm wiping it down constantly because I'm just that person who does not like to see my fingerprints all over things like this. So if you have OCD about that, you will also be doing the same. 
Now, as far as the uh, where the crease is here, you can see there, there's the cut. So whenever I fold it, you are able to see that's the way it looks. So you have just nicely, uh, just very to the top. So it definitely does not leave any pieces really exposed at all. And uh, like I said, you do want to maybe take those off if you plan on keeping the case on a little bit longer with those adhesive strips, because that'll also keep it in place. I've noticed with a lot of Z Flip three foam cases, I've had to kind of push up a little bit uh, occasionally. So that way, whenever I'm holding it, the gap there isn't as big, um, especially when I'm holding the phone like this. Got a bunch of notifications all of a sudden. Um, so yeah, but I, for whatever reason too, I really like having my finger there for some reason, because with this being a fingerprint scanner on the power button, I tend to hold my phones like this a lot and I keep on accidentally hitting that button, um, but that's cool. So on the side here, as you can see, it's a clear uh, kind of blackish tint color. Once again, you have a cutout here for the power button slash fingerprint scanner and also some raised buttons there. So definitely has uh, some really nice uh, raised buttons there and we'll do the button test here in a minute. And as you can see here, you can still kind of see through there since you can see the adhesive strip still you got Tech 21 branding here, so very minimal. Uh, and then at the bottom, you can see that you have a nice cutout for the USB-C port, mics, and speaker grill. And then here on the sides as well, no buttons, but once again, it's just a solid slab across all of it. There's no cutouts. And then here at the top, you do have one single cutout for the mic up top. Now on the front of the device, as you can see here, you do have some raised lips on the forehead and chin little bit of some baby lips around the sides here. So you're going to be getting some protection from your screen or for your screen, I should say, if you do place it face down. On the top here, you can see how the cutout is for the actual speaker grill. So it's not covering the speaker grill or anything like that. It's actually above it, like a lot of the Z Flip 3 cases have been. Obviously it's screen protector friendly as well. So now that we've gone over the whole thing, let's go ahead and test out the wobble of the phone and see if this case gives you any kind of shake if you put it back down or uh, face down. So let's do face down first and let's see if it shakes on us. So there's no shake at all. And then let's go ahead and flip it over and do the back. And the same thing, there's no shake. Just for jollies, let's do it closed. So once again, no shake, which obviously I would assume since it's very flat. And then for the front, no shake at all as well. So no shake on this case. So now that I have it closed, let's go ahead and just take a real quick look at it, what it looks like when it's closed. So as you can see here, you can see just kind of that black tinted color there. So the Tech 21 branding, you can see the gap a little bit there whenever I wave my hand through. So it doesn't close the gap up completely, but you still uh, you know, it does a little bit better job than not having a case on. And then when you go to the bottom here, you can kind of see how it is nicely squished there. And then the side, and then the hinge part up here at the top. So you can kind of see what it looks like there. So yeah, does a good job. Now, next thing, let's go ahead and do the button test. So let's see how clicky these buttons are. So let's start with the volume buttons and I'm only going to do the volume buttons because Obviously, I'm not going to do a button test of the standard power button. So volume up and down. Okay, so very clicky buttons. So it definitely passes the clicky button test. So next, let's go ahead and do the Qi wireless charging capabilities of this phone. So I have my charger here. So I'm just going to pull it over here and just place it on. And as you can see, Gave you the animation showing that it recognizes that it is on a Qi wireless charger. So it is definitely Qi wireless charging compatible. All right, so the next test that I wanna do, as you can see here, it says ready to charge is the reverse wireless power sharing capabilities of this device. So if you have your uh, earbuds or anything like that and you're in a pinch and you need to charge them, let's see if this allows it. So instantly vibrated. And as you can see there, I have the red LED notification there that the earbuds are charging. So it is definitely doing that reverse power sharing capabilities on this phone. So that's a big thumbs up as well for that test. So all in all guys, this is definitely a good case if you're looking for a case that's clear, that's tinted, 
Uh, like I said, any of these types of cases, they're going to be a fingerprint magnet and smudge magnet. There's no way around it. So obviously most people know that going into this with these types of cases, it feels good in the hand though. It does give a decent grip to it. Obviously if your hands are super sweaty or something, it's gonna be a little bit slippery, but for the most part, the grip is actually pretty nice. Uh, I haven't had any complaints at all with the grip while I've been using it. Um, but like I said, you just gotta get past the fingerprints um, and all that. But for the most part, guys, it does make the, the phone look pretty good and does give some really good protection. And obviously it feels very good in the hands when you close it doesn't add really any bulk at all too much to it. So it definitely does feel good in the hands and it does just do the job. So there you have it, Evo Tint from Tech 21. So hit that like button guys if you liked the video. If you loved it, please subscribe and ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. So be safe, God bless, and we'll see you on the next one.